In the wake of the recent murder of 18-year-old Joshua Powell, Raquel Rodriguez, owner of Raquel Art School, decided to hold an exhibition in Belize City to bring awareness to the impact that gun violence has on the community, especially the youth. She held a similar exhibit in Belmopan last December, and due to its success, decided to mount another one. Reporter Giovanna Mugel shares that story. The students of Raquel Art School in Belmopan took their paintbrushes to the easel to create artwork in honor of the country's teenagers who have fallen victim to gun violence. These art pieces were put on display today on Albert Street. The gesture is to raise awareness and silently protest against the gun violence plaguing the community. The students range from ages 4 to 19. Owner of the school, Raquel Rodriguez, further explain the significance of this art show. The main reason that we're out here today is because we did a little one-on-one -on -one interview with Mr. René Villanueva from Love FM, and um, they asked us the same question, if we would, we would be um, likely to take this artwork anywhere else other than Belmopan. That was in January when we did that interview, and it struck uh, a nerve, it struck, it struck something inside of us, and that's why we're here today. So they sort of kind of opened up our eyes to not just having this artwork stuck inside Belmopan, but to have it for the rest of the country. And we thought that coming to Albert Street, I mean, which place better than Albert Street? Come on, this is like the heart of the country, right? We had uh, Ask Alex in advance, and Alex Sankar, our dear friend and artist, he uh, agreed to having the kids out here on his section of Belize City. So this is his little corner. He agreed to it. He brought out all his easels yesterday for us to set up this morning easier. Rodriguez stated that gun violence, especially against youth, has been prevalent in today's society. She said a key factor to putting together the exhibition was to properly educate the children on what was happening in our country. She hopes that through the artwork, other children will catch an interest in the matter and be a part of changing the country's future. Orange is the color for gun violence. That's our theme color. That's the, that's the international theme color for gun violence. Hence, I'm wearing orange as well. So raising awareness, we're trying to do this um, along the lines or aligning with the rest of the world. So we have the kids, they all knew this. We researched it. They studied it in school. And so most of the paintings were done on orange backgrounds. And the name or the theme for our gun violence exhibition was called No More Silence and Gun Violence. Apart from just bringing awareness about gun violence to the children, Rodriguez also hopes that this initiative will aid the students in creating a financially established country. She teaches them basic money-making concepts that they would be able to use to sell their artwork. We teach kids how to paint, but we also teach them how to sell their art because part of changing the community and, and not only raising awareness, but it's a part of changing the future. Um, it's about grooming our children or teaching our children also how to self-sustain so that we could become a better, more united, better um, established, financially established country. We have done several projects where, or workshops where I have the students all combine um, their their minds, their creativity, and we would we would paint for one uh, theme or one occasion. For example, over the weekend we had a bunch of paintings that we did for uh, a gift shop in San Pedro. So what I do is I try to find or scout out people who would take our artwork onto their gift shops and sell it for us. Although she knows that changing the community's future will not happen overnight, Rodriguez and the students at her school are hoping that their effort will stimulate other members of society to speak up against gun violence currently affecting the youths of Belize. Reporting for Love News, I am Giovanna Mogel. We'll be back shortly.